Hi friends, I'm Jess. Welcome to the Hex Library and today is going to be a planner video. I did a look back at the channel and I have not done a planner video uh, since March. We did our March video together and then I did the Storytellers Hearth Weekend Relay for May, no, June. I did that live stream, but I haven't shown you my monthly planner since March. So I figured we would start off with the planner, go through some changes that I've made to what I've been doing setup wise because I have made quite a few changes and then we'll get into July because I feel like if you've watched March and then we get to July, you'll be like, how did you get here? So I'm going to show you March and then April and then May and then June and then we'll sh show July. If you just want to see the July setup, I'll have chapters down below for you. Also, we're going to ignore Jessica's fingernails because she broke several of them. So they're just taking a break right now and trying to grow back out. Okay, so March was actually the first month, if you remember, if you were here, that I stopped doing cover pages. I decided that instead of having a cover page and doing like a quote and all of that, that I just wanted to do the calendar as my cover page for the month, if you will. So as you can see, I used some of my month here. I also had COVID in March, so you know, yay, fun for me. Um, I used very little of um, the Story Traveler's Hearth Weekend Relay for March. Again, I had COVID that weekend. So not a lot happened, but I did the setup and that's, you know, the important part. I did get some reading accomplished. Um, was not happy with this layout at all. This whole thing was a mess. Didn't use a whole lot. Love this. Haven't used this favorites thing. I have a printer where I like theoretically was going to print out the photos. I've been doing this since I started setting these up last September, October. Haven't put a single one in yet. So I have stopped doing that. I think March might've been the last month I did that for. I was using this style of weekly layouts where I was doing like my to-do list. So I have a to film, to edit, admin, um, my YouTube schedule habit tracker, storytellers, hearth things, declutter things, and my home tasks. And then in here were my weeklies and just doing like, you know, every day having a place to put in any events that I had. Um, so the tasks were like free for all wherever, but then events here in the middle. And as you can see, I didn't use a lot of it this month again had the COVID and I also had a stomach bug at some point too and like slept for an entire weekend. I did go to a book signing with Mindy McGinnis. That was awesome. That was a fun time. Um, so I should do that at least. That was March. April was Camp Nano. So I did like a woodsy campy theme. Lots of fun stuff on here. Lots of Danica's baseball games, etc. Camp Nano project. We did this together on a live stream as well. I filled out absolutely none of it. I did a couple of uh, days of workout, but as you can see, didn't actually work on my project. Didn't fill this out. Doing great so far, aren't I? Uh, April reading, hate this. Hate every ounce of this. Um, stickers are great. I, I actually, I do like the font I was using. It wasn't always great, like I messed up in some places, but I do actually like that like very sharp font. I do like that. I will try that again in the future, um, but a little, I'll actually pencil it in before I just write it in and have lots of problems. Um, but yeah, this was not, this was not it. Oh, look, I did have a faves here. Just not, not it at all. Not it. YouTube schedule, nothing. Just, just the days of the week and the dates. Nothing. Uh, tasks, none. None tasks for the month. Um, I did a different style this month. Uh, this is where I was going to start trying to do a rolling daily. Um, I didn't have an Easter dinner menu, so plus that. Um, so like a rolling daily is essentially where you don't pre-plan out the weeks. Like if we go back here, you know, every week there was a specific set of space. Like they're all even, an even space. Whereas like a rolling style is on Monday, I would fill out Monday and on Tuesday I would fill out Tuesday and Wednesday I'd fill out Wednesday, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and then I would only use the space that I needed for that day. I was started out doing like weather trackers and like the 
the weather and the temperature. That was that was not it. That was not it at all. It was okay, but it was not it was not a good time for me. And then I moved into this style, which is pretty much the style that I have right now, but it's a little different. Um, so I have the events over here and then my tasks in like a rolling daily style. So on Monday, I put my Monday sticker and I put in whatever uh, tasks I need to do on Monday and then Tuesday, well usually Monday night before I go to bed, I'll put in Tuesday and then whatever I need to do on Tuesday. And then if I put an X on it, it means it's finished. If I put an arrow on it, that means that it was migrated to a different day or to a different week. Um, I've got little X's up here to symbolize that I have migrated anything that needed to be migrated to the following week. Um, so I definitely started doing those and I'm enjoying those much better. Um, still not, you know, the best thing in the world, but much better. And then I started realizing I wasn't using all of it all the time. So I started doing like a meal ideas down here in the corner, um, basically just to like remind me of what I was buying at the store. Like you bought enough stuff that you can make all of these or you have stuff to make this in your cabinets. Um, just so like when I'm like, what do I have that I can make? I don't have to like go and look through the cabinets again. I know I have at least the stuff to make these. I'm sure I have more, but at least the stuff to make this. And then um, we did the 30 hour write-a-thon with Anne and Celeste. I just had an empty page at the back, so I just tossed it in there because I thought I had an extra week here, but I did not. Um, that, my friends, is how the cookie crumbles. Uh, then we get to May. May, um, my bookmark broke and it's a tiny bookmark now. Um, May was green and planty and I loved it. It was fantastic. Um, different events and things going on here. I did um, my reading spread. I liked a lot better this month. I had TBR, group challenge TBR. It was the final book support group. So there was that readathon with like the, the dates and then the my TBR and the bingo board challenge and then um, my typical like arcs new releases my haul and then the books I read and what was also the escape the readathon the entire month and so um, I have that on here as well for like the room keys because you had to unlock a door to get out of it. it was a fantastic time love that readathon one of my favorites that I've ever done it was a great time I loved every second of that it was fantastic uh, and then I also had one for the Queen's Clash May Chaos Reign, um, which some of my friends do. If you don't know the Chaos Queens, I'll link them down below. But they do this every year in May. I say every year like it's happened more than twice, but it's definitely happened twice. And it's for writers where we have like a writing prompt, a reading prompt, a watching prompt, a self-care prompt, and a making prompt. Um, and then, you know, this. So there's that. I then went into my weeklies and again this is where I have kind of just made myself happy. Events, tasks, meals. Loving every second of this at this moment in time. This is really working for me. I'm getting a lot more stuff done this way. Feeling good about it. Having a good time. Yada yada. And then we get to blank pages. So this is what happened here. There's half of this book left less than half. I intended to attempt to use this book for the remainder of the year because obviously there's plenty of paper in there. However, because of the way that I have been cutting um, like my my weeks and stuff out, it is uh, it's seen better days. I don't know if you can see how bad it is because of the shiny, but like she rough. And because of the way that it's so much tighter on this end than on this end, um, or smaller on this end than this end, it is a combination of both this side I've been cutting out of and this side I've been putting stickers into. Um, and so like the whole binding is just kind of falling apart. So um, the back half of this is going to be either just a lists um, for when I need to make lists or an R&D bujo, um, something of that sort because this is not, uh, this was not working out for us very well. Um, this is the planner that I take with me every day. And because I take it with me, I feel like it needs to be one that's more, uh, has a better integrity 
um, which is at no fault of the planner. It is 100% at fault of me because I'm the one shoving extra things in it and cutting things out of it. So that's what has made it be a little less uh, sturdy in the binding. Uh, it's fine to use at home, but not something that I want to take with me. So I then moved into this one. So this is one of my favorites, actually. Uh, so I started this one out, got a new cover page with the Hex Library on it, some bookishy witchy stickers. Um, I put a pocket in the front and then I pulled over my calendar from the old one. I made a six month future log so I can get things in here. Some of these things have changed already. I need to update uh, the date for the Summer Scare Readathon. And then we have June. June is my birthday month. And I was like, you know what I want to do with June? I want to do dragons. Um, if you've been seeing any of these stickers, uh, they're all from Planning with Kay, who I will link down below. So I did June dragons for my birthday month. And typically we would just be seeing June in this video. But again, we were behind from March. Um, the weekend relay, we did this live stream together. So I've got my schedule, my event goals, my writing goals, uh, office prep, meal prep, all of that. Um, event admin tasks. I ended up not even getting half of them on there, but I did do them all. So that's a bonus. Um, my word count tracker. I did write some words during the event, which is new for me. I, I go in with all of the best of expectations, but always manage to fall short. So that is what it is. Uh, then we have my reading spread, which I am in love with these little dragons, but also in love with using these. I got new markers. They are, they are the Oh Hoo Hoo color markers with a, brush marker pen end and they also have a fine point end. Um, they're like a knockoff of uh, Tombos which I can't afford um, so I bought a giant pack of these and these are working out really well for me and since I have those and they actually cover a whole line unlike the mild liners that don't cover a whole line I've started doing a lot of the highlighting and I'm loving it having the best time. So my reading planner and then uh, the tarot readathon this this month and after, and you're, this is one of the changes that's happening in July. So I did my tarot readathon spread and then the team challenge spread. And then after June started, um, Leanne announced the next round of the spring of the mixtape readathon. And it was the late spring mixtape. So I ended up having to glue this page in because the very next page is my planner. So I ended up gluing this in. I ended up only finishing one book during the week. It was a hot mess. I didn't have a phone for five days. There was like, I was trying to get everything done for the write-a-thon. It was, it was a giant mess. I'm still trying to read the books for this and I'm going to count it regardless of if I get it done. It was about this, this spring mixtape read-a-thon was about spring cleaning, getting rid of books you've had around for a while. So I'm definitely still attempting to do that, but I digress. Uh, and then the other half of the tarot read-a-thon and then my weekly spreads and as I said daily events and then my daily tasks and then meals prepping things. Um, I am really very happy with these dragons, very happy with the way that this turned out. Um, I've been using these a lot more, having a great time with this. Um, this is this week so this kind of gives you an idea of like today is Monday so I've got Monday's tasks on here, but I don't have Tuesdays on here yet because I'll fill those out tonight. And then uh, I've got some events for this weekend, but not necessarily all of them. So that is the end of June and we can finally show you July. We're 15 minutes in. So uh, July. July's theme is mermaids. Again, these are from Planning with Kay. And I've already got some things in here because I've been planning out things already. July, monthly overview, dated, monthly, live in the dream. Author tube chats in here, uh, 30 hour write-a-thon is in here. There's other events that are going on that will be here. Here's the big change that I made. Because I oftentimes learn about write-a-thons or read-a-thons after the month has started or after I've planned the month. I have moved where things are at in the planner. So it's going to go immediately into my weekly 
planner. We went from the monthly calendar to the weekly planner. It has been driving me crazy and I was like, Jessica, you put these things in yourself. You can put them in however you want. Duh. So I'll have my events, my task list, my meal ideas. Again, loving these and you'll see that more as we move forward here. Um, but I wanted to fill this one out so that you had an idea of what it was going to look like. And then we just have the blank ones that I'll fill out as we get closer to those weeks of. So then we get into my Camp NaNoWriMo tracker. I have a word meter and I have a calendar where I can put in my word count for the day and then my word count for the week. That's it. That's all I did because I haven't been using them anyway. I'm hoping going to like just one page instead of 53 pages, uh, maybe I'll actually use it there and be the goal. Uh, my reading section, absolutely in love with. I have my new releases, ARCs, books I haul, my TBR, which is just the regular TBR um, things that I'm reading. And the group and challenge TBR is for any book club books or uh, group books, any reading challenges I'm doing. That is there. There is a summer ween readathon happening uh, from the 7th through the 13th. So I have the reading prompts in here and also the Instagram prompts. I learned that I cannot use the highlighter marker thingies over the Uniball Signo because it makes a hot mess. Now you know that too. Don't do that. That's not smart. And then a list for all of my red books. I'm hoping to read more in July than I did in June, but we'll find that out together as well. Uh, and then I have the Reading Scramble, which is being hosted by Margaret at The Word Nerd, and I will link her announcement video down below in case you want to check it out. Essentially, there are like three boards, and you can choose whether you want to focus on your physical TBR, your Goodreads goal, or your currently reading TBR. And so each, it's kind of like a bracket. So like you start off with your shortest book and then you can pick whether to read for a vlog or for an event. And then if you read for a vlog, you can read a debut author or a summer release. And if you decided to read the summer release, you can do a five-star prediction or a most intimidating or blah, 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 blah. Um, so I am going to attempt to do um, one row of each board was kind of like my, you know, it would be fun to do. So I'm going to start with the physical TBR and if I get all the way through one row of that then I'm going to do the Goodreads goal and if I get through one through a row of that I'm going to do currently reading. If I get through that I might start back over here. Who knows? That's why I put all of them in here because I'm going to have a fun time and then that's it. That, that'd be the end. But I already know that there are some other write-a-thon things happening this month. Um, the 30-hour write-a-thon is this month. There's some other things in the works that I know that I will be wanting to put in here. So I've got space for that. And I also think I might start taking notes on what I'm reading and put those in here as well um, and do more of like a reading journal style. I don't know if that's really going to happen or if that's just me living in fantasy la la land. But now that I'm putting things uh, in this order, I can do that if I so choose. That's, that's the guy. That's the thing. Again, in love with all of this. Love, loving the lineage, the highlightery things, these mermaids. I'm just honestly having the absolute best time with this planner right now. So I'm living the dream and you can too. All right, friends, that is going to be it for me today. If you made it this far in the video, leave me a fish emoji. I don't know. Do they have a mermaid? If they have a mermaid, leave a mermaid. If not, leave a fish. Surely they have a fish. Something ocean related. You do you, boo. Uh, let me know also in the comment section if you um, have like any bullet journaling aspirations for this month, next month, if you have been changing things up on your Bujo, let me know. Um, that's one of my favorite things about a bullet journal is like if something's not working for you, you can just change it. It may, it still takes me a little while to figure that out because I'm so used to having like a set planner where everything is what it is. Uh, but I am figuring it out. So let me know that down below if you're participating in any of the readathons I talked about or the writeathons that I talked about. Let me know all of the things. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related content a couple of times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!